Lady Teddy. Hey y'all, welcome back to another Tea Time with Tay. I know your girl been low, like low as fuck. Like, but if I'm being honest, I've been super sad. Like, all my motivation has been gone. Like, and I ain't even trying to be on that tight time, but it's hard out here for a pimp. Especially with this motherfucking quarantine, y'all. That shit is driving me stir crazy. But as you know, no tea. It's actually water for us. Oh, by the way, make sure y'all follow my boyfriend. I know y'all hear him playing this rhythm of poetry. Follow him on Twitter, Instagram, A Law underscore music. That's A L A W underscore M U S I C. Check him out. He's fucking lit. Kind of watch me work merch y'all soon. Collabing with your girl with that litty titty shit. Oh, yeah. And by the way, like, I, you know, all my merch is on Zazzle, but it's some fuck shit going on. I'm going to get it right. When I finally get it right, y'all can cop y'all shit. Just know, I'm not frowning on y'all. It's actually really stressful and it's really hard. Like, sometimes I really get really overwhelmed because of the facts of everything that I gotta go through. Like, I'm going through the fact, you know, that the awareness that my mom really is never coming back, it actually really fucks with me. My dad's actually really selling our house. He's, you know, wiping out a lot of memories that I have from, you know, just my family and life. Like, he about to get up out of here and i don't specifically know what i'm gonna do i know it's gonna be okay i know god got me but you know it's really overwhelming and overbearing but i hope you guys like the poem i'm gonna read for you today i actually wrote this yesterday and it's kind of deep and kind of dark at the same time but i really hope you guys like it it's called silent cries so anyway here we go the pain in my heart I can't sustain, so I just complain to contain my inner beast before I meet defeat by the hands of the discreet in the street full of fire, proving my faith is a liar. These stressful times so dire, I desire to feel loved. I look for the answers from above to no avail. I constantly fail and flail to try to stay afloat instead of sinking like a boat. But I'm drowning in my sorrows, praying tomorrow can be a better day. But I must say, I feel played and delayed, waiting to be saved, but I'm enslaved and I'm enraged. I feel my body decay and there's no other way to pretend I'm okay. Betrayed by my mind, I move blind through the night to multiply the divide I feel inside because I'm suffering while my smile is buffering, forever wondering if I, can I, will I ever fill this void because the day you left me, I was destroyed. So... I feel like that poem actually it touches a lot of places. Not just in me losing my mom, between me losing my friend, like for all y'all don't know, I actually had a friend who committed suicide and like that shit actually really is fucking with my head because the first thought of, that comes to my mind is, yo, that could have been you, bro. Like that could have been you. Like, so what are you gonna do to not be you? If that makes sense. So, like, I'm just really bugging. This whole COVID thing is really affecting a lot of people's mental health. And people really don't take that shit seriously. People don't really take it seriously when you're telling them how you're feeling and what's going on. But God forbid anything happened. Then everybody's like, oh, duh, 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 duh. no, 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 okay? Like, sometimes people actually do talk. And people mistake those feelings and that pain for attention. It's not always about attention. Sometimes it really is people genuinely needing help, genuinely needing that one person just to say, hey, I love you, like I'm here, I care. Sometimes it is just that one phone call for you to just answer. Sometimes it is that one text message like, hey, like, Sometimes it's just the littlest thing, the littlest teeny tiniest thing, even a smile that can stop somebody from hurting themselves or 
ending their life or making a decision that could just change their entire life. And a lot of people really don't understand that. Some people reach out for help in ways that may not seem normal to the average person or just, it might just seem like it's too much, but sometimes someone just needs a friend. Like I find it totally insane that I get way more support on Twitter than I do in real life. And it's people that I be around that claim they love me, claim they care about me. And they see me trying to wade above the water, to get back on my feet, to just uh, find some clarity and somewhere to go and something to do. And still... When they see you fucked up, it's just like, uh, you know, it's just like, oh, well, I didn't think this. And it's just like, oh, well, it's just about a dude or no. Like sometimes people don't understand, like you could have problems going on and then like somebody else can exacerbate them. Someone else can exacerbate how you're feeling or what's actually going on and make that person feel worse. So like I keep telling people like taking hiatus, there is literally nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with taking time for yourself. But what I will never agree with is you're just gonna up and leave. What about this person that depends on you? What about this person that needs you to be the person to just say, hey, what about this what about that like i feel like if you communicate to people that you need some space then it's justified and it just makes more sense to me it just makes more sense to me because you never know what you not answering a person can do and i know that's a lot of pressure to put on someone but you never know you could be that person to stop someone from doing something fucked up and that is why I always treat people with respect. Like, I don't judge. I'm not a judgmental person. I don't give a fuck what you got going on. I ain't better than you. You ain't better than me. We all people. We all human. I don't give a fuck right, what race you is. Shit, I'll talk shit to any race. Even my race. I don't give a fuck. Like, sometimes, though, somebody just needs you to be there. Y'all see that fucking whatever the fuck that is living past this fucking thing? I'm trying to ignore it. I'm sorry, but, um... If y'all see signs that someone is on the brink of just snapping or doing something out of their ordinary, reach out a hand. Reach out a hand, okay? Help that person. You literally never know what that can do for someone. Some people have issues with talking, just like me. Like, I can talk for days about several things, but that pain and the hurt that I feel, the void that I was talking about, that shit that I feel, I can't really talk about it. It's times where I have anxiety attacks because I feel so overwhelmed and I can't even tell anybody what's going on. And then it's times I'm just so fucking stressed that I act like everything's okay. And then someone's like, nah, she ain't okay. She lying. And I'm just like, well, what do you want me to say? But you know, everything happens for a reason, right? It'll work out in the end. That's all that really matters, right? This is a test, this is a trial for you to run through, for you to get through, for you to overcome, for you to grow stronger. Some people really don't understand the pain of losing a parent, let alone a mother, your mother. The lady that gave birth to you, the lady that bought you in this world, held you in her womb for nine months, she gone. She's gone. There is nothing like a mother's love. Nothing. Max, get your ass away from that. Sorry. But when I say it's times when I randomly just think of her and it saddens me, I could just cry. Like, the, the thought of the fact that I can have children, my mom will never meet them. The fact and the thought of the fucking fact that I get married and my mom will never be here to see that. Yes, I know she's here with me in my heart and in spirit. I know that. 
but it's not the same. It's not the same. My mother was <laughs> one of the only people super close to me that supported me and gave me love, gave me hugs, asked me if I was okay, if I needed it, actually gave me the caring and just, uh, she just gave me what I needed and she's gone. When you lose a major support system, it's kind of really hard to deal with. And sometimes you bounce back and sometimes you don't. And sometimes you're kind of just like in the limbo area. And I like to feel like that's where I'm at. Because I honestly lost all my motivation. All of the energy. All the positive vibes I always used to have. I can literally uplift anybody around me. But I cannot uplift myself. The pain I feel towards myself, the thoughts and the hurt and the anger and everything that I have towards myself because it's things that I couldn't do because I it was just <laughs> impossible. You know, fairy tales make you feel like <laughs> anything can happen. Disney Channel, cartoons, all that shit make you feel like anything could be anime fantasy movies period but in reality that's not what life really is that's, that's not how it goes it's not and sometimes the fact that i work super hard and i don't get recognition with i mean granted like i do get some but like at the same time i don't like i honestly i shouldn't be on tiktok right I shouldn't, right? Like, it's supposed to be canceled, but I can't cancel them because they help me advertise. They help me get things out. They help me feel things that I need to feel for myself. But at the end of the day, that shit ain't ran by the U.S. It's ran by the Chinese. They don't like us, but what social media is actually really for black people? Y'all ever really sit back and ask yourself that? People can literally say that they're for Black Lives Matter and not be because they just want our money, if you ever think about that. None of these social medias is for us. And you know what I also want to talk about? The Joel, what's her name, Jenny Slate, that said that she's not going to play... Oh, God, what is her name? Is she not going to play the little black girl? Missy, Missy. Is she not going to play Missy on Big Mouth because a black person should be played by a black person? Isn't Missy biracial? So if she's biracial, she can be played by a white woman. But on top of that, I feel like what she was trying to do was... It was positive. It was but it can go either way because if anybody can say that a black character should be played by a black character they're going to say that a white character should be played by a white character so all these roles now that we're coming out with where they're like black people play roles it's going it, that that's going to coincide that's going to be an issue there will be someone is going to make it an issue i personally don't care i'm kind of upset that she quit because I hate when characters change. If you got me on one season, two seasons, specials, three seasons, bitch, I want to hear the same voice. I don't want to hear no switch up. I don't. I don't. I like originality. I like cow kids. And I don't like replacements. Like I said, I feel like that can go either really good or really bad. Like, that's even for... Like, for instance, when I cosplay characters, like, take a while, like, I'm cosplaying, like anime characters from japan oh they're white no bitch they're not white they're japanese there's a fucking difference y'all racist and y'all need to stop but either way if i want to cosplay somebody with my luxurious brown glistening skin i fucking will what you doing with that ooh, ooh, uh, uh. okay <laughs> but yeah Thank y'all, you know, for tuning in and kicking in with your girl. I'm about to call it a fucking night. Let me drink some more of this water because Lord knows my drunk ass need it. Shout out to Nene. She a real one. And shout out to my baby, Ayla. I love you. <laughs> but yeah. Holla at me when you see fit. Hi. Uh. Hey.
Alright, yeah. Uh, nice guy, and I'm smooth with it too. Ray Charles, I'ma make it do what it do. Nice guy, and I'm smooth with it too. Ray Charles, I'ma make it do what it do. I'm in my bag, I'm getting busy now. Light it up, time to get litty now. I'm in my bag, I'm getting busy now. Light it up. Time to get litty now From an ex con to the next dawn Haters is taking shots, it's cool, I wear that teflon I never been a clout buyer And these dudes acting like bitches Mixed doubt fire How the hell you doubt fire?